if we do not if we do not have love for one another as much as we have it for ourselves then we are not true believers just as Allah created Adam in his image so does Allah like to see our actions in his image regardless of whether we call ourselves Muslims, Christians, Jew, Hindu, Buddhist, or something else. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for this generous invitation. It tells me that people around the world are now looking for something different from America. People are looking for something that has nothing to do with armies and military. People are looking for something that is greater than armies and the military. What is that which is greater? It is the love of Almighty God, Allah. That love is greater than the might of armies and military. Why? Because the love of Allah is what saves, is what heals, is what teaches peace and love and mercy. It makes bad things right. It makes bad people good. That is what has warmed the heart of Bishop Tutu. That is what warms the hearts of you and me. It is what makes us truly brothers and sisters and people of faith. It is the kind of godly love that delivers hope to all. This is what people are looking for. This is how joint missions of Muslims and Christians, clergy, and lay people show the world that we as Americans are united against all forms of aggression and occupation. We see it in the fact that America does not have only Tomahawk missiles and intercontinental weapons but also it has a skilled, dedicated clergy who are sincere about their interfaith efforts and can penetrate ignorance and hate and change it, change it into enlightenment, love and compassion, especially toward those affected by the social ills of the world. America is very rich with the blessings of the religious and cultural diversity, but what we need today is a Saint Francis of the 21st century and the Rumi of the 21st century who come from America hand in hand, showing the rest of the world that the Abrahamic house in America is in intact and ready to share the love of God with everyone. We do have hope that together in the 21st century, we will continue to work in concert with our eyes and hearts, focused on the divine interests. And we will let the ego and narrow interests fall to the wayside. I pray that this blessed invitation by all of you for me today will help provide the momentum needed to rescue all those in American society who are tired of the rhetoric of fear, hatred, and Islamophobia, and the twisting of the truth and the reality of the teachings of God for their own political purposes. For to twist faith for political purpose that serves self and neither God nor humanity to twist faith for one's own purpose is blasphemy. The whole world is looking to America and America cannot afford to spend its money on wars and conflicts anymore. If one-tenth If one, only one-tenth of what has been spent on wars and bloodshed 
can be spent on programs like this to bring us together all over the United States, which promote better understanding and combating ignorance in America, we will have more positive results and we will be an example for the whole world. America is already doing a great deal, by the way, by sponsoring many exchange programs, and I myself am involved with these exchanges, both inbound and out outbound. I'm truly thankful for those programs funded by the taxpayers of this country, but we can still do much, much more. We will be giving our young generation a different kind of memory and example to follow, rather than letting them see someone who wants to burn the Quran or someone who tells his Muslim neighbors that he cannot build a mosque in one state or another state or this state, or someone who kills Christians in Baghdad and tries to blow up airplanes and call that Islam. The teachings of Almighty God clearly reject all of that, regardless of what someone calls themselves. He wants us to actively demonstrate our solidarity and engage in joint efforts and programs to benefit humanity and reveal the fruits of our compassion and mercy toward one another. And I will end by this verse from the Quran, and I will share with you the way we recited in Arabic. And then I will say the translation. The verse is verse 13, chapter 49. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الناس إنا خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله يتقاكم إن الله عليم خبير O mankind, we created you from a single pair of male and female and made you into nations and tribes that you may know each other, not that you may despise each other. Verily, the most honored of you in the sight of God is the one who is most righteous of you and God has full knowledge and is well acquainted with all things. As we strive to build upon our common heritage and work together as one body, these efforts will be supported by the prayers and goodwill of all believers here in the U.S. and around the world. I ask Almighty loving Lord to bless your work and efforts and to help me and all Muslims be, to be ready to work beside you to promote God's love for all. May God bless you, bless America, and bless the family of Adam and Eve. And thank you very much.